day six. This is the uh, penultimate day of my trip. Uh, we're actually just going past the very north of uh, Norway. So this is probably the coldest and furthest north we get now. Um, it's all quite nice. Um, the, uh, it's been snowing quite a lot. We've got a slight break in the snow, so I've uh, had a chance to go outside. As you can see, uh, the uh, mountains are snow covered and the deck is actually snow covered. Excuse the uh, announcements in the background. You get that quite a lot here. Uh, but I'm just going to pan around so you can just see uh, the glory of the uh, scenery. Welcome to Honnesvag. That's not actually me. Anyway, this is Hannesvag. This is the uh, furthest uh, northern part of um, Norway that we're going to stop at. It's very exciting. As you can see behind me, uh, the peaks are getting higher. Look at that, it's quite impressive. I wish I could climb a few, but um, I don't think I'll get time. It's looking good. If I pan around, you'll see the uh, trolley foot behind us. Uh, where, which has been our home for the last uh, six days. We've only got one more night and we leave early tomorrow for Oslo. And uh, he apparently does some very heroic deeds during uh, World War II. If I'm honest, I can't read the site quick enough, so I can't tell you what they are. But um, he's got uh, a lot of history and a lot of tourism based around uh, his, uh, St. Bernard. He looks very cute, as you can see from the picture. Okay, so I'm going to go and look around the town, show you some pictures. I hope you enjoy them. Welcome to the top of Hannesvag. As you can see, I've hiked through the uh, This bike behind me uh, goes out to the wilderness. Uh, this bike is uh, just about to leave. So I'm just going to pan around with this excellent view over the village. It's really nice. As you can see, the old uh, fashioned houses behind me, the typical Norwegian houses. So I pan around, you'll see the dock with the uh, Trolleyford docked, which I've got to head back to in a minute. So I continue to go around, you'll see the mountains that are snow covered in the distance. That is quite uh, quite impressive as they vanish into the clouds. It is clearing up a bit, it was thick fog this morning. I'm actually, um, I don't know if I can catch these, but I'm being circled by some what looks like eagles. Um, oh, you might see one there. I hope they are not after my head or something. It's quite worrying, but okay. So um, I'm going to head back through the village, take some more photos. I'll see you soon.
so I'm just about to leave Hunnersburg. The sun's setting, it's not even two o'clock yet, um, so it's very early. It's been a really nice town to visit. Um, one uh, last uh, fact that I've learned, I've just been in a museum, is the, um, the Germans actually practiced a scorched earth policy here, uh, which destroyed most of the city. Uh, when the, uh, the Russians were pushing them back, they actually did more than that. They the infrastructure left uh, to make it hard for the Russians. So, um, is really sad. I think in this town, the, it was only the church that, is, um, that was left standing, which is really sad. Um, but you know, I learned some history today, so it was really good.